I am writing a book now on the job, but not getting enough time to write. It may take another year, perhaps, to finish that book. But as, as alhamdulillah, I have completed my book on an Islamic view of God and Magad in the modern world. I think it is perhaps the only book in the market. It is not pride on my part. I am not being proud <laughs> and arrogant and being disrespectful. When I say of much of the literature that I find on God and Magad today, worthy of Disneyland. And so we now, having looked at the appearance, the uprisings, as positive, now one to locate the reality. Why is Israel smiling? In what way do the Arab uprisings, which are not finished, benefit Israel? Nabi Muhammad sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam was asleep. The hadith is located in Sahih Bukhari. Uh, no, more than four times. More than four times in Sahih Bukhari. He was asleep at the house of his wife Zainab radiallahu ta'ala anha. And he saw in his sleep a vision. It was something terrible. And he woke up from his sleep and his face was flushed red. And he said, Wailil Arab, woe unto the Arabs. Because of a great evil which is now close. And then he raised his hands like this and he said, Today a hole has been made in the barrier bit by Zulkarnain. Hmm? Remember, Zulkarnain had built that barrier with blocks of iron. And then he had poured molten copper on it. Where is this in the Quran? In, in Surah to Kafi. Yeah. And when that barrier was built, God and the God could not penetrate, could not scale. So they were blocked by that barrier. The world was safe. But now, after Zulkarnain had bit the barrier, remember what he said. This barrier is constructed by divine kindness. For when that time comes of which my Rabb has warned Akhir Zaman, Allah is going to bring down the barrier. When will it happen? It cannot happen until the last prophet comes. It cannot happen until the last kitab is revealed. <laughs> so now, in the lifetime of Nabi Muhammad sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam, he says, today, a hole has been made in that barrier bit by Zulkarnain, meaning Allah is bringing down the barrier today, today, today. She then asked, Yani Zainab radiallahu ta'ala, Shall we be destroyed? We, the Arabs, because he said, Wailul lil Arab. Unto the Arabs. She asks, Will we be destroyed? 
we the Arabs when there are righteous people amongst us he said Naam. yes the Arabs will be destroyed and then he gave us the time when that destruction will take place he said either when moral nastiness prevails in the world the world becomes so stink you gotta close your nose <laughs> that's the time when the Arabs will be destroyed when pornography is everywhere in every little corner, in every little shop. The destruction of the Arabs was something of which we were warned at an earlier time, long before Nabi Muhammad alayhi salatu wasalam. This coming destruction of the Arabs is not taking place yet, it's coming. And the Arab uprisings I am suggesting to you is preparing the way for that slaughter. For that slaughter. Thousands of years before Nabi Muhammad alayhi salatu wasalam, Nabi Ibrahim alayhi salam had a vision. And in that vision he saw himself sacrificing his own son. So he went to his son, Ismail alayhi salam, not his heart. And he said to him, Inni ara fi manami anni azbahuk. I have seen myself in a vision sacrificing you the son of son how do you respond the son replied and said ya abati ma tu'mar oh my father go ahead and do as you have been commanded to do satajiduni Insha'Allahun Nasabirin You will find me, Insha'Allah, patient. And then when Ibrahim alayhi salam placed his son's head on the block and was about to sacrifice him, Allah called out, Ya Ibrahim! You have already fulfilled the vision. You have already accepted, accepted the sacrifice of your seed. It was not required of you to do this abhiha. No. You have already fulfilled the vision. Qad Sadaq Ru'ya. It is my opinion. And when I give my opinion, you should never accept it. No. Until you are convinced that it is correct. Remember that. Anytime I give my opinion, do not accept it unless you are convinced that it is correct. It is my opinion and Allah knows best that that vision of Ibrahim alayhi salam is about to be fulfilled. The that vision of Ibrahim alayhi salam is what Nabi Muhammad alayhi salatu waslam also saw in a vision and said Wailul lil'arab min 
sharrin qadikkarab The seed of Ismail alayhi salam The Arabs He said sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam The best of those who have come from Ismail alayhi salam are the Kinana and the best of those who have come from the Kinana are the Quraysh and the best of those who have come from the Quraysh are Banu Hashim and I am the best of Banu Hashim establishing that the Arabs are descended from Ismail alayhi salam It seems that the sacrifice of the Arabs in the divine wisdom is part of a plan for Allah's purpose to be fulfilled for Banu Israel to be taken to the worst punishment that any people would ever get وَإِذْ تَأَذَّنَ رَبُّكَ لَيَبْعَثَنَّ عَلَيْهِمْ إِلَى يَوْمِ الْكِيَامَةِ مَنْ يَسُوبُهُمْ سُوَ الْعَذَابِ And your Lord has announced that he is now going to send against them the Jal Bhagavad those who will inflict upon them until Yawmul Qiyamah the worst possible punishment but in order for that end to be achieved the sacrifice of the seed of Ibrahim alayhi salam is necessary in the divine wisdom this is my opinion you should not accept it until you are convinced that it is correct the prophet said sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam that when the jail is released he will live on earth for 40 days one day like a year one day like a month one day like a week and all his days like your days Jerusalem in the Quran was written 10 years ago published right here in Malaysia a Malay artist gave me this cover design and you see the three blue circles representing a day like a year a day like a month a day like a week In this book, I have argued that the Dajjal was released in the lifetime of Nabi Muhammad alayhi salatu wasalam. He is on earth, but you cannot see him. Are there angels in this masjid? Can you see them? Are there jinn in this masjid? Can you see them? <laughs> so the job is here in this world but not in our world of space and time you can't see him. I have argued that these three stages a day like a year, a day like a month, a day like a week these three stages produce three world orders in stage one a day like a year the world experienced Pax Britannica become ruling the world and the sterling pound is the international currency and become ruling the sea and then came stage two